Today is an anniversary of sorts in the history of weather forecasting. Specifically, the idea that you can predict the weather by solving a set of complicated mathematical relationships called differential equations. The method used today in the computer models we talk so much about. The central character is an English mathematician and meteorologist named Lewis Fry Richardson, who joined the UK Weather Office in 1913. At that time, forecasting was done mainly by trying to find past weather maps similar to the current one, essentially the analog method we use on Weatherworld in our long shots feature. In contrast, Richardson wanted to use his mathematical background to calculate future weather by solving the equations that govern changes in air temperature, pressure, and wind. During World War I, Richardson drove an ambulance on the battlefields of northern France, but he did not forget his forecasting dream. During breaks in battle, he tested his mathematical prediction system by retroactively trying to forecast the weather for the afternoon of May 20th, 1910, exactly 105 years ago today. A day chosen because extra upper air measurements had been made that morning, so Richardson had a better than usual handle on the initial state of the weather. He took all that data with him to France, where he planned to use it to make a simple forecast the change in air pressure over a six hour period that day, and then compare his forecast to what actually happened. To do this, he divided Europe into squares, each about 120 miles on a side. With only a slide rule and some mathematical tables, his office, a heap of hay, using a sheaf of forms that he created to guide the calculations. Richardson, by hand, by himself, solved his equations on each square of the map. It took him six weeks to compute a six-hour forecast. Though his math was correct, the forecast was terrible, off by a factor of 100 due to problems with his numerical approach and small-scale atmospheric oscillations called gravity waves that he did not account for. But Richardson was on to something. In a 1922 book called Weather Prediction by Numerical Process, he proposed a forecast factory with 64,000 human computers, each responsible for a small part of the globe. He wrote, imagine a large hall like a theater. The walls of this chamber are painted to form a map of the globe. Myriad computers are at work. He means humans upon the weather. Each computer attends only to one equation. It wasn't until 1950 and the first successful numerical weather forecast on an electronic computer called ENIAC that the dream became a reality. When Richardson got word of that milestone, he wrote, allow me to congratulate you and your collaborators on the remarkable progress. This is an enormous scientific advance. Given what computer models have meant to meteorology, he sure was right about that. Today we salute Lewis Fry. Richardson. Paul Knight is back next with the extended forecast.